My name is Melanie, Math Content Specialist here at Zinkers. Let's take a look at another digital SAT question and how we can use Desmos to help us solve it. This question says, in the given system of equations, R is a constant. If the system has no solution, what is the value of R? Before I start to think about solving strategies, it might be useful to take a quick reflection, quick second, to think about what it means for a system, in this case a system of linear equations, to have no solutions. If I think about this for a second, I might remember that I have three distinct possibilities. I could have infinitely many solutions, I could have one solution, or I could have no solutions. Let's take a quick second to just kind of draw out those pictures and remember what that means. If I have infinitely many solutions, I really have lines that are the same, two lines that are kind of lying directly on top of each other. They're crossing at infinitely many points, again, same line, infinitely many solutions. One solution would be two lines intersecting at exactly one point, and the no solution would be two parallel lines, so lines that are never going to touch. And this is the situation we're dealing with here. I want to create, using this value of R, two lines that are parallel, meaning they're never going to touch, never going to have a solution. And again, what does it mean for two lines to be parallel? They have the same slope. So in a situation where I didn't have Desmos, I would probably prompt you to move around these equations so that they're in y equals mx plus b form and pick a value of r so that it has the same slope as this equation here. But since we have Desmos, we can do this a lot faster. So I'll start by just plugging in both of my equations exactly how I see them. So 48x minus 64y equals 48y plus 24. And then this equation here, ry equals, and as soon as I'm prompted, make sure to add a slider for r. We're going to play around with that value. ry equals 1 eighth minus 12x. And again, all I have here is my slider, which allows me to play around with um, r. Make sure you don't have a typo like I just did there. You should see two lines here. So again, we're trying to create a situation where I have two parallel lines, which means that I should move around this blue line until I see that, until I see two parallel lines. What I'm noticing here is that given my restraints here, negative 10 to 10, that's not going to happen. So I'm just going to bump it out to um, negative 30 to 30 and just kind of play around with that. So now if I just kind of zoom in, I want to make sure that when I move this around, I can't see that um, you know I'm going to get two lines that will intersect eventually. But this top one isn't really as straight, it's not lining up with that red line, eventually they're going to cross somewhere over here, right? So I want to come down here, look along the line, and really make sure that they are perfectly aligned with each other. And when I do that, when I kind of play around with that value, I can make this greater, just kind of see what happens. But eventually you'll find that if I zoom in and pick negative 28, what I'm getting is perf two perfectly parallel lines. They're never going to intersect. I can kind of zoom all, all along this line and see that they are, in fact, never going to touch. So in this case, I know that the value of R that's going to make this system of equations have no solutions is R equals negative 28. Is there another question that you want to see? Make sure to leave a comment down below, and don't forget to like and follow our channel for more digital SAT content.